going on guys? Greg De Palma here. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick recap on the Chickamauga event. Uh, it was a really good tournament. It came in 16th place. Caught a ton of fish. Um, there was a few different ways that I was actually doing it that I don't think hardly anybody in the field was doing it. Uh, day one of that event, uh, I think I had like maybe 15 or 16 keepers. Uh, the crazy part was it was really cold. One of the questions I get a lot is, uh, you know, when do you start topwater fishing? <clears throat> and for me, I kind of have a rule of thumb. Uh, I call it when they look up, uh, pretty much when that water temp gets to be 50 or higher, uh, you know, pre-spawn fish are always looking to feed. Um, and it doesn't work all the time, what I'm going to tell you guys, but it, it worked for this event. Uh, a lot of the fish day one just came on a black buzz bait. Uh, the water temp was like 54. If you guys watched the tournament, we had snow, sleet, and they were still smoking this thing. Uh, just a regular 3 8 buzz bait, nothing crazy. Uh, Worked really good. Setup wise, I went for a 7 foot 2 Shimano Zodius uh, Chronarch XG, really fast reel. Threw it on 20 pound, high seas, 100% fluorocarbon. The fluorocarbon really let them fish to get it and still gave me plenty of back to get the fish up and out. Uh, but I also caught a good majority of the fish uh, for the rest of the event. The buzz bait seemed to really fade off after day one. It got really cold. But it seemed like, maybe you guys have heard this, maybe you guys haven't heard this. Early pre spawn fish, a lot of times, once the sun gets on the bank, they'll really get into the shallow water because it's a warmer water. Now the deal was, uh, I didn't really learn this until the first day of the event. I'd pull up on the areas where I thought the fish would be really good at as far as, you know, the way the creeks set up, the way the bends came in, and they're just really good staging areas. But then fish were getting on the flats, but they wouldn't get on them flats till later in the day. So if I made one or two pass down them banks, it was one of them things where like you couldn't give up on it because you had to come back when the sun was up. So I ran around a lot with that buzz bait most of the time, all the mornings, and I, I got them fish to react to it. Just on some weird stuff, man. It was transition banks, like rock banks, deeper stuff. And then when that sun got up, I ran to the shallows. It was like a 10, 11 o'clock hour on, and I just started flipping a jig. This is a custom jig, actually. Um, you can't really buy this, but it's just a custom 3 h jig. It's a black blue, and I got a green pumpkin rage chunk on the back. And I, I, I really caught them good. I think day two, I probably had 20 keepers on this jig and maybe three on the buzz bait. The last day, I think I had a dozen keepers in the jig and none on the buzz bait. So the biggest takeaway for me in that tournament was pretty much to keep a lot of stuff honest because uh, that time of year, there's just so much movement going on. So whether you're on Chickamauga or just anywhere is pre-spawn, springtime, early spring, keep a lot of stuff honest. And I can tell you right now from experience, I've always heard about this. But this is really true the first time I experienced it hardcore where I was like, wow, that was pretty neat. So, uh, biggest takeaway, keep that shallow water bite. The sun gets high early in the year and the water temps are cold. That shallow water gets warm. The fish will be up there. Hope that helps you guys out and we'll see you guys in the next one.